Hey guys, welcome to Podiatry Practice Mastery, uh, Don here. Um, I want to do a little um, action and application after my uh, interview with Dr. Uh, Stephen Barrett. I really found it was inspiring to talk to him, kind of a, a trailblazer within podiatry in terms of nerve surgery. And um, kind of the, the takeaway, uh, in my opinion, even talking a little bit after, is the importance of learning. And, and not just learning within podiatry, but learning kind of w- wide. And that's something that's really helped him in terms of uh, the nerve surgery, meeting other people, making friends, and uh, learning. So what could you apply that in your own life? I find now with two young kids, it's really hard for me to learn anything. <laughs> it's hard for me to, to like read consistently and you know, just to try to learn something. So I, I think based on what uh, what Stephen said was going to conferences and even trying to do one conference a year outside of the specialty of podiatry. Now, I know that's time away from the office. I know that that's revenue that's lost, for example. But I think you're going to open yourself up to a lot of other ways of helping your patients. And one thing that I found really helpful, we've talked about this before, is this whole idea, and he's a similar biohacker in terms of what you can do to provide added value beyond just the podiatry realm. So for example, if you're interested in neuropathy, or uh, uh, I've been interested in like this integrative medicine, or the, the intermittent fasting, or now this latest thing about taking cold showers and then uh, doing deep breathing and all these this Wim Hof and things like that. So what are these other areas and experiences that you can have that then you can share with your patients that kind of make you unique? I think it's a way of bonding with patients and providing them with, with more information. So that's, that's the first thing would be learning outside the scope of podiatry. If you can do it reading journals, read journals, but I don't think you really can. I think it's really hard for us to do that because we're all overwhelmed. You really have to leave and have an experience. So you might want to consider going to the that association of, of uh, lower extremity surgery or neurosurgery, okay? Um, another thing that I really found was neat with, uh, with Stephen was the importance of l- continuous learning. And I know he's always listening to something in the car or during his commute. And these are the things that I've really found helpful for me as well. Uh, so currently, uh, I have an audible, so I'm always listening to the current book. And it might be a, a business book. It might be a marketing book. That's where I've got a lot of my ideas are actually from other industries that I'm trying to implement within podiatry. And this most uh, recent one that I've been talking to people about is doing a subscription service. Is there a way we can find a way that would work for subscription? And I think the easiest method would be with orthotics. So uh, kind of learning outside of your industry and in other areas and learning and, and having ideas with other people, whether it be with physical therapists or other, other doctors, because you can learn from them and then try to apply it into our profession. So always learning. The, the best thing I found with learning is twofold. One is to always listen to something when I'm driving. So I'm always either making a podcast or I'm listening to something. And the other thing that I think is very helpful is having uh, something I call, I don't call, I stole it. It's called The Miracle Morning. If you haven't read that book, it's a really good book called The Miracle Morning. And basically this is kind of the morning plan. And that usually involves reading about 10 or 15 pages in a good book. And this could be, you know, a podiatry book, but usually for me it's not. Usually it's some other type of personal improvement book because we are only as good as we can make ourselves be with learning. So that's what I would recommend, the Miracle Morning book. And uh, another thing I would recommend is reading books twice. So because the first time you kind of get the gist of it, the second time is where you kind of delve deep and see how you can apply that in your life. Uh, so those are a couple of the tips. Anyway, it was a great interview with Stephen. I hope to have him back. I hope to go to one of the, the surgery uh, kind of courses with him to learn more. Uh, once again, if you want to learn more about Podiatry Practice Mastery, kind of join the membership. I'm, uh, I'm planning on closing things up after 300 subscribers. So we're at about 250. So if you haven't subscribed there, I would subscribe at Podiatry Practice Mastery. At 300, I'm going to figure out a way of what I've talked about is a subscription, right? I've been talking about subscription, and it's going to be the easiest way. I'm basically going to start with a, a low low amount. I think it'll probably be about $10 a month or maybe $25 a month. And then there'll be different levels of people subscribing. And that'll be a monthly thing to get everything a little bit easier. Okay, that'll be the plan. So if you haven't joined Podiatry Practice Mastery, I would join because at 300, we're going to put kind of a price on it for everyone. But those of you that are early adopters, there's no price. Okay. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.